Terry Parr's Intermediate Dysfunction, PPID, formerly known as Equine Cushing's Disease, is the most common endocrinologic disorder in horses. Horses as young as five years of age have been diagnosed with PPID. Clinical signs can be early or advanced and can include delayed shedding, decreased athletic performance, laminitis, and lethargy. Some early clinical signs can be subtle and PPID may go undiagnosed. To understand what causes PPID, it's necessary to understand how a healthy equine pituitary gland functions. The pituitary gland, known as the master gland, lies at the base of the brain. It is responsible for the production of an array of hormones. These hormones then circulate throughout the body, where they regulate the function of various organs. The release of hormones from the pituitary gland is controlled by the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus generates releasing and inhibiting factors that act on the pituitary to either stimulate or inhibit the secretion of specific pituitary hormones. The equine pituitary gland is comprised of three lobes, the pars distalis, the pars intermedia, and the pars nervosa. The intermediate lobe, or pars intermedia, is affected in PPID. In a healthy horse, the production of hormones from the intermediate lobe is inhibited by dopamine. In the healthy horse, dopamine is released into the intermediate lobe from neurons that originate in the hypothalamus. It then binds specifically to dopamine receptors on the surface of the cells of the intermediate lobe, like a key fitting into a lock. Once the receptor is occupied by dopamine, the receptor acts like a brake, inhibiting the production and release of the hormones from the intermediate lobe. In a healthy horse, there is ample dopamine available to evoke a strong inhibitory action by the dopamine receptor to make sure that just the right amount of ACTH, alpha-MSH, and beta-endorphin is produced by the intermediate lobe. PPID originates from a degeneration of the hypothalamic dopamine-producing neurons. The lack of sufficient dopamine in the intermediate lobe leads to an increased hormone production. The absence of dopamine allows the cells of the intermediate lobe to divide and enlarge, causing the pituitary gland to increase two to six times its normal size. As a result, intermediate lobe hormone concentrations in a horse with PPID may be more than 10 times greater than in a healthy horse. The lack of dopamine in horses suffering from PPID can be managed by using Presend. Presend is a dopamine agonist. It acts to replace the dopamine that is missing from the intermediate lobe of the pituitary in horses with PPID. By binding to the dopamine receptor, Presend decreases the secretion of hormones by the intermediate lobe. Presend has not been evaluated in breeding pregnant or lactating horses and may interfere with reproductive hormones in these horses. Horses with PPID treated with Presend show improvement in signs of disease such as improved hair coat, muscle mass, and attitude. Using Presend as part of your PPID management protocol improves the quality of life of PPID affected horses by reducing common clinical signs while decreasing the risk of other illnesses that may be associated with PPID. Presend tablets should not be crushed due to the potential for increased human exposure. The first and only FDA-approved treatment for the clinical signs associated with PPID.